Okay, we're going to show how to launch Robot Sim from LabVIEW. So we have LabVIEW open here. Um, the first thing we'll do is go to the LabVIEW example finder. And see here under robotics, we have cognition robotics. And then what we'll do today is we'll open up the roaming simulation. And this VI will control the simulated starter kit robot. Let me just drag this into view here. And when I hit play, uh, launch robot sim. If this boolean is checked, then it will launch the sim. And if auto start is checked, it will also start the sim. And it's designed right out of the box, right after installation, to open up a sample project, which has the, uh, the robot ready to go. And you'll see as soon as this gets going, the robot starts moving around, and you can see the VI in the background is getting information here. So to move the camera, what you can do is if you right-click the mouse, wherever you move the mouse, the camera will, will look that direction. So if you go up, it looks up, down, looks down. And to zoom in, you can use the mouse scroll wheel zoom in and out. And so to follow the robot, what you'll find in a place like this will look straight down and then it'll just zoom way out and you can basically see the entire apartment. Um, and you can see there's just a grid here, nothing else around. And so we'll go slowly panning and zooming and we'll get right up close to the robot here. Turn the camera a little bit. So you can see the starter kit robot with the sonar. If we wish we can stop the sim or pause it at any time. And if we pause it here, you'll see that the lab VI is waiting for input because it's not receiving any, just as if you had stopped the real robot. So we get a nice close-up view. See the robot here, and if we just hit play again, it'll continue on, avoiding obstacles. Uh, one feature of the sim is the reset, and what this does, it will bring the sim right back to the starting stage, and you can run it again. So if you wanted to change the VI, change how it's operating, you could actually do that and then reset and start again and see how your changes affected the robot's behavior. And again, we didn't make any changes, but you can hit play and it'll pick up uh, right where it left off. Now, if we wanted to add other objects, uh, you can see what's in the current scene here with the Explorer window. Uh, we'll do something really quick here. We'll just add another uh, starter kit robot. So we drag it on and we just lower it here, this arrow. We'll lower it. You can also hit play and it'll fall, but it may bounce and end up on its back. So now, if we go to our properties, and under here we have robot settings, you'll see the port is 1301. Here in the Labby project, we'll stop this. It's controlling the robot at 1300. So come back here, you'll see that the first one has 1300. That's one we were controlling. Now we want to control the second one. So all we have to do is go here and change that port to match up. Come back to our sim. Close these windows, give us some more viewing room, hit play. And now both robots are ready, but only one will be connected to. For this uh, particular demo, we'll turn off these. We don't need these anymore. The sim is running. We hit play. Now our second robot moves around and avoids obstacles, including the original. Now, the nice thing about this is if we have enough projects, we can actually connect to both robots or multiple robots and control them all at the same time in one simulation. So that is the basics. We can go back here, reset from where we last stopped, and we're ready to start running experiments.